It's moving day here at Georgian College. Coming up, we talk to excited students and some sad parents as they get ready for the first day of classes. CTV News with Katherine Ward. It's a time-honored tradition for many college students and their parents. Moving day. There's lots of excitement and maybe even a few tears, depending on who you ask. Brandon Rowe went to the Georgian College campus in Barrie to see how everyone was handling the transition. Welcome to Georgian. About 500 first-year students waited in line to check into residence, eager to start their Georgian College experience. I'm stoked about it, yeah. I'm pretty excited, a little nervous, though. But for some parents, today brought up a mix of emotions. Excited for him, but very sad for me. Today was the second day students could move into their dorm rooms. After getting their keys, students were encouraged to check out information booths. There, they could learn about meal plans, how to try out for college teams, and where to access student services. There are two forms that I need you to fill out and hand back to the front desk in the next 48 hours. Student so volunteers like and staff like Pantera Piskin were here to lend a helping hand and give advice on how to deal with being away from home. Best way to get over homesickness and that little bit of fear that you have when you're going off to college is just to get your energy up, get really excited about what's going to happen for the next eight months. Moving day isn't new for Lance Shirk. He's done this before. The big change for him now is all of his children are out of the house. We're empty nesters now and we're really looking forward to this. So looking forward to her having a good time and, and really enjoying herself and coming back for Thanksgiving and that's the first time we want to see her. There are no nerves for first year Hunter Bishop getting settled in his new room. He's the first of his siblings to go to college. This is almost like a dream come true. Bishop is happy with his class schedule, leaving him lots of time to sleep in. I don't know how I manage this, but I have Fridays off and my Monday classes don't start until like 1 o'clock, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Classes start on Wednesday, but over the next two days, students will get better acquainted with the campus, including first years who have orientation later this week. Brandon Rowe, CTV News, Barrie.